one of the world's best ever golfers. It's just over my left shoulder, so no pressure on this leg, but. <laughs> wow! No more mulligans. <laughs> That's beautiful. Oh my god, he's done it. First eagle on the channel. That was crazy. <laughs> Never been on the tally before. My name's Dan. I'm a 14 handicapper and I'm breaking par for the first time today. I'll have access to as many mulligans as I need, which is nice, you know, not everyone gets that. So my target today is hopefully less than 30 mulligans. But the thing about mulligans is mulligans don't instantly knock off shots off my round. I've essentially got to play to the level of a scratch golfer with a few bad shots in there to get the pars. So the strategy today is basically I have to be on the green in regulation and I just have to essentially use as many mulligans to get to that point. I've got everything I need. It sounds strange, but it's true. Today I'm breaking par. We're par four here, 340 meters. Just looking to start strong here. What do you reckon, take it? Absolutely take it. What a start for Dan. I'm about 150 meters from the front. Just looking to get this anywhere on the green. Mulligan. <laughs> Tough day to break par here, mate. Yeah, 25k yeah. win. One mulligan. It's pure. <laughs> Holy moly. Bro, imagine if you got an eagle. <laughs> that, that was, was pure. That was wow. I am absolutely stoked with that. I should make this. If I don't, I might just use a mulligan or two to secure the birdie. Oh my god. Dan's had a dream start. <laughs> what a shot. What a shot. One under going on to hole two. One mulligan used. Wow. Come on, come on. Part three here, 150 meters to the middle. Lots of wind. I'm just gonna try a seven. It doesn't work. Use a six. <laughs> it's gonna work for me. Ladies and gentlemen, leave a like for Dan's star. Our playing partner's a legend, man. He's all about what we're doing. Yeah, he wishes he was doing it with us. He's just gone pin high on the fourth He's green. green. But anyway, Dan's got a longish two putt. I think you make that one. Ooh. Nice. Solid par. I've used three mulligans, but I'm one under. That's fine with me. One under par, we've got a par four here. There's a bit of a mound in the middle of this fairway, which I always end up on the right of. So I'm gonna try and left of it. Let's go. <laughs> Who are you? What have you done with that? Knowing that I've got mulligans, it just takes a bit of pressure off the shot, you know? Wow, feels good. About 130 meters to the middle. My cat is telling me a pitching wedge and I trust him. Perfect. That far off the green, so I think that's gonna be just fine for me. Just give me a gimme. Give me a gimme, give me a gimme. Mulliganless par putt. Mate, we'll be looking pretty good. It's a long one though, cheapest. For those of you who don't know who Bob Charles is, one of the world's best ever golfers, and he's just over my left shoulder, is it Sean Lamb? Playing with the president of St Andrews over there. So no pressure on this leg putt. Great putt. Right, mulliganless par attempt. In front of Bob Charles. <laughs> oh, he's done it. Oh my god, ladies and gentlemen. I'm just so happy for Dan right now. This is exciting, we'll see how it goes. I don't want to get too excited too early. Bob Charles just watched me get a mulliganless par, also known as a par. Hole four, we've got a par four, three mulligans in, one under par. Keep this train going. <laughs> don't change anything. Oh my god. Dude, this works. 140 to the middle, 120 to the front. Safe 9 iron, let it roll on. Let's Ooh. do it. Whoa. Jinx, you owe me a pop soda. <laughs> Could be a take of that one. I think I'm going to take it. I was just thinking right before my backswing, 9 iron might be a bit too much if I flush it. So I sort of just got a little bit of ground, chunked it a little bit, front of the green, see me just flirting with the edge of the green. That's, yeah. that's where I want to be. Big long two putt here. It's all about weight. I 
Let's try and make that. I reckon you can get one closer here. Should I? Yeah. Yeah. Slow down. Yeah. Hands. Four mulligans to get a par. Seven mulligans used through four, one under. We've arrived at the hole that Liam had an absolute meltdown on. It's a really hard par three, elevated green, tabletop green, hard to get on, man. This hole and the next hole, I used 21 mulligans. I hope Dan does better. Hey guys. If this video gets 500 likes on YouTube, we'll be doing a Hot Ones Golf eating chicken wings with that Carolina Reaper sauce on it. And it's up to you. Back to the action. 130 meters, but we got wind directly into us. You got the birdie to play with. <laughs> and a birdie to fiddle around with. Oh my gosh. I think uh, that wind is a bit more aggressive than- Oh, the wind's fucking us up. <laughs> The exact same shot. This is tough. The wind's super aggressive. I'm just gonna aim probably like off the green even maybe. I've got a 60 degree. I just wanna get on the green, two putt, walk away with a bogey. <laughs> yeah, stoked. <laughs> Coming up to this putt, that's uh, way bigger than I. Thought. If I don't make it, I'm probably just not going to use a, a mulligan on this one. I'll be honest, I'm not disappointed with how that panned out. I've got a pretty short par four here, downhill. Let's hit a big one. Oh yeah. It is windy. Good birdie chance. Very, very good mulligan on par chance. 60 degree on the green. Ooh. Thanks, mate. I hate um, chipping off fairways. Sit, sit, sit off that hill. Sit off that hill. Uh, using a mulligan. Nice. I'm taking that. Birdie putt here. If I make it, I make it. I don't think I'll be using any mulligans if I don't need them. Nice. Par five. Long hole. Get in fairway. It's all good. Go. I think it's fine. My advisory board has told me to hit a provisional mulligan. <laughs> the first of its kind. Do one of those drives you did before. Sure, that's a good idea. Oh. Whoa. That's definitely playable, mate. We've officially granted this one an official mulligan. 200 away. Liam's thinking maybe no. I go for the green. I'm uh, thinking about it because then you might be able to get a really good birdie look. Should I do it? Yeah. Six or five? Five. I'll just hit a layup. Perfect, mate. Sit. Got the thumbs up from our buddy. Yeah, worth a shot. Used one mulligan, didn't work. Move on. I'm here for two and a par five. I'm like pretty close. Come around. I back the two putt. Yeah. I made it hard. Good. I don't know what I was doing with that 60 degree. Nice part. Go in. Go in. <laughs> Very happy with that leg putt actually. Two mulligans again. I see they pick up a few more mulligan this pars. Dan's playing great, I think. It's tough that wind picked up for those last three holes, but you stayed at even par. 14 mulligans through seven holes. Happy days. Yeah, short par four here. Yeah. Got wind screaming right to left. Shot. Wow. Mm. I'm gonna do that the first time. Kind of tough shot here with the wind howling right to left. The goal is gonna to be to land it just short left of the bunker and then hope that it kind of just rolls onto the green. Great shot. Great shot. I'm happy with that. This is so fucking oh. hard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
we uh good pop. Oh yeah. One mulligan used. Yep. Beauty. Next hole will be a mulliganless part. It's gonna work. Found the solution, just play with the Pro V every time. Great second shot there. If only I could do that the first time. 130 to the front. My caddy's telling me 8 iron. I'm gonna hit an 8 iron. Stick to the strategy. Keep using mulligans until I'm on the green and rig. Same shot, just right, I guess. Yeah. That could be all right. Let me run up. Not great there. I don't know what's happening. I'll have some food at the turn. I've been lag putting well. Let's try go no more mulligans on this hole. Yeah, I got a bit of a tough two putt here. Pretty wobbly green. So good. Yeah, I'm not going to do much better than that, I don't think. <laughs> Hopefully I make that. Oh yeah. Par there, how many is that? Four mulligans used? Yep. Don't know what happened there, but we're at the turn. I'm even par through nine holes. I'm gonna get some food in me, reset, and then probably use like no mulligans on the back nine of it. <laughs> hey guys, we're halfway through. Dan's playing some great golf, absolutely blowing me out of the water. I think it's down to his caddy. Uh, we just gotta get some food in him, get some drink in him, and see how he goes. Hole 10, par four, 280 meters. Just going with a safe five iron here. Nice, Dan. Plan works. Should we try and make a mulligan this part? But he just goes, oh, and he went down to like chuck it to me. Oh. <laughs> then like, oh wait, no, no, no it oh, was no, my no, shot. No, it. Time to do a chuck a wedge on the green, mate. 90 meters away, we've got a 56 onto the green. I need a mulligan. Oh, I did the same thing. It's all right. Can I take that? Not yeah. Got another big long lag putt to make. Man, this is me all day, eh? I'll start hitting green soon. Go in. Another knee shaker for par. <laughs> oh my god. Nice. Whoa. Two mulligans used, one par made. I need that burrito I just had to kick in. But if it had kicked in just before that first putt, that would have been ideal. Needed to give it some beans. Some beans! Par four, about what, 350 meters? Driver in the fairway. Shot. Yep, happy with that. Mate, how does it feel to be even par through 10 holes of golf? You've never been here before. I've never been here before, it's all true, it's all true. Like, it's, it's pretty cool, but to be completely honest, it doesn't feel as good as you'd think because of all the mulligans. Maybe this challenge teaches the world under 80 golf isn't birdies, long putts, it's no bogeys, mm. no double bogeys. There's no picture on a scorecard. There is a video on this one. There's a video on YouTube of you breaking the car. Should I cut out all of the mulligans? Burrito's starting to kick in, which is good. I might try and get this on the green this time, give myself an easier two putt. Beautiful. Beautiful. This game's easy. <laughs> Do you see any break in this? Nah. No break. Dead straight. Yeah, I'll just hit it dead straight. It was breaking. Yeah. <laughs> we missed it completely. Remember that part where you asked me if I saw any break? Yeah. I still don't see that break. A bit of a knee wobbly here. What? Oh, confusion. Oh well. Only one mulligan used that time. I'll get a mulliganless par eventually. Maybe even a birdie. Got a par five here, 420 meters. Somewhat get a born two. Just smoke a drive up the middle. That'll work. It's not clean, but it's fine. Let's, let's have a look. I think I'm on the fairway. I mean, you could get there in two easily. I think a birdie here would be massive. Then we take two shots until we get this up near the green. Okay. Then we can afford to try to hunt a birdie. Let's build a buffer here. Let's get a buffer. Stay. I want you to hit one more. You reckon? Yeah, may as well. Make sure you go left of the flag. Yep, yep. Roll on up. Up on the green. Stay on the green. 
first. Ladies and gentlemen, Liam's a smart man. <laughs> eagle putt, bro. Yeah, eagle putt. Woo-wee. Perfect. I wouldn't have done that. Playing aggressive. Yeah, aggression. Great use of a mulligan there. I'm just about to pin high with a eagle putt. Mate, that's such a oh. eagle putt. I told you, man. Should I just use like a couple of mulligans and get an eagle? Yeah, I mean, that's the closest eagle putt we've ever seen on the channel. <laughs> Unreal. It's further away than we thought, as per usual. <laughs> I'm happy to use probably even like five or something to make this. Maybe just make it the first time. Yeah, I'll just make it the first time. It looks so good. The question is, do I just take that as a one mulligan birdie? Take two looks at it and get an eagle? I'll have another couple looks yeah. at it. Eagle time, baby. Yeah, boy! <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> is that a mully eagle? That was a two mulligan eagle. Well done. It's not quite a full eagle. Nice, man. Thank you. I've been um, using two mulligans to get pars. No, so you're, you're cruising now. Now I can just, you know, if I need to, just make a mulliganless bogey here and there. Thanks very much for tuning in and watching the video, guys. Subscribe for more content like this and hang around to see how he finishes. Hey, you just got a fucking eagle, man. I just Damn got it. an eagle. Hole 13, hardest hole on the course. Par four, 390 meters. Oh, damn. It should kick off that hill if it carries. Stay on the fairway, yep. Yo! Uh, I just got an eagle. <laughs> Woo! This is going unbelievably. I'm absolutely buzzing. The use of mulligans has been, I'd say, very strategic. Very good, very strategic. I'm thinking about changing the goal of this video to break 60. Now, this guy gets got, one eagle and he I, thinks he's... Call me Eaglesman. I like getting out of this fluffy stuff. <laughs> Hook round. Take it. I'd, yeah, yeah, it's a tough green to get near. Yeah. Nice soft 60 degree. Roll out. I think you take one to get closer. I back him. He's been right before and he'll be right again. Hit one harder. <laughs> yep. Then roll in. I'll just take it. Not as all. Just didn't break at all. I can take one more. You don't want to give away your bogey so easily. Stay. Oh. Oh. Uh, you don't want to take another mulligan there? That's it. Oh. Good thinking, Liam, mate. Good thinking. Four mulligans to get a par on the hardest hole. Yeah, I think you made the right call again. We've got a par three here, about 120 meters. It's downhill with heaps of wind, so I'm heading at 52 degrees. What was that? <laughs> Come around. Be short. Oh, it's the Pro V again. The one I can actually hit. That's beautiful. Oh. <laughs> Imagine if that was a hole in one. It wouldn't feel quite right. I definitely missed the entire green zooming in because I was already celebrating. Sorry already for the shaky camera work today, guys. Birdie chance. That looks real good. Go. Ah. Dude, good putt, man. How have you found um, being the cameraman for the day? <laughs> I won't lie, it's a very different experience for me. I have no artistic or musical talent. I'm keen to see it, man. This, is, this whole video is shot by Liam. He can put this on his portfolio. It's gotta be like this, <laughs> honestly. I think I'm being a pretty good caddy, and I think the biggest thing I've done for this video is absolutely blow out on my attempt to give us the <laughs> strategies. Par four, 340 into a lot of wind. Provisional mulligan. Oh, yeah, the old pro Provi Mav. Oh, yep. <laughs> Mate. That'll work. Cool, we found my first ball, and to make things even better, it's the Provi 1. Woohoo! So, yeah, the Provisional Mulligan. This isn't the PGA Tour. No. This is the Bank Boys Tour. We'll get there one day. 110 meters into blasting wind. Oh, that's so good. Carry over that hill. Oh, oh fuck. God. Not I'm a gonna, P wedge. I'm going to change to a 9 iron here. It's straight, it's, it stays there. Stay up, stay up, stay up, stay up. It's rolling down. Yo! That's doable, two-puttable. It's been done before, I can do it again. 
I love that. Whoa, I don't love that. Ah, oh. you can get closer, mate. Come on down. Uh, yeah, taking it. That. Another knee shaker. What a surprise. Nice part. Four mulligans used, another par made. I'm still two under par. Three to play, and these are some absolutely brutal holes. This next one, par three, tiny little green, and just death all around it. I've got a bogey to play with. Man, if I can just get through this with two or three mulligans just to make a par or even a bogey, it would be a success. Oh, Dad. Oh! <laughs> that is the club. Yeah, stoked. Absolutely stoked. A little two part. I can get out of here with a par. Mulliganless par on the, a really tough par three. Unreal. Shot, bro. He has some That's what, man. Probably take another one, to be honest. I'm going to use oh. a mulligan. That's all right. Tap that in there. Right, so one mulligan used, Four to be honest, plus. that's a great result. Give you that at the start of the day, you'd buy it for. Oh, I'd take that for probably 25, 30 bucks. Still two under par, going into hole 17. It's a par four, 360 meters, hard green to get on. It's kind of two fairways, one on the left, sort of one on the right. Aim for the left one. No more, no more mulligans this, this round? Yeah. All right. Great. Oh yeah. I'll take it. Oh, it's just here. I'll just lay up. Yeah, if I was earlier in the round, I probably would have used a mulligan there, but I set myself a little challenge. No more mulligans. So I've got my first bad lie of the day down here. In the fescue. Close to rolling up beautifully. Just landing this kind of short of the green. Shot. I'm taking that. That's where you wanted to it's be. It's quite a bit short of the green, but I can afford a bogey. This can't be a mulligan in this park, can it? Can it? You're crazy. After all we talked about, man. 15 meters to this green. This is basically a green on Lakes Golf Course, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, definitely using putter here. This is what today's been leading up to, after all my long two putts. A big, enormous, like. I have full faith in you going up down for a mulligan in this park. Get up, get up, get up. What do you want to do? I'm taking it. You are? Okay. No mulligans. He wants as little mulligans as possible. It's almost like that's the challenge. Two putt from here, bogey, that's no mulligans. Or you could make the putt too. Or I could make the putt, Liam. Oh my god, he's done it. He's done it. <laughs> Come on. Mulliganless putt. That's your second mulliganless putt. Damn, that's, that's actually not great, eh? I still am two still under. two under going into hole number 18. It's looking good. Like 35, I'm, I'm very pleased with. I wanted 30 going into this challenge. It's a windy, horrendous day. Playing some decent golf with a few just dusty air shots in the mix. No more mulligans. No more mulligans. Hey. Shot, mate. Par 5, 4.43. Mulliganless par, please. Do I just go mulliganless and just... Yeah, all right. I mean, like, that's crack up. What a horrible golf shot. Hey, 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 yeah, hey. yeah. Watch yourself. <laughs> I've mate. been so good all day. Dan just hit the best drive of his life. The clubhouse is full of RNA members. The chairperson of St. Andrews in Scotland is here. Sir Bob Charles is here today in the clubhouse. Next, more important matters. I've got to hit four right. 300 meters left. I'm not in the fairway, so it should be easy to hit. Let it roll up like 50 meters. Nice. Try and keep it all wet. Making a mess of this last hole. <laughs> so as long as Bob thinks that that's your tee shot. Yeah. <laughs> Over those two bunkers, chill seven. Nice. That's all good there. Lag putting territory. Got the home stretch. We are there. 18 holes, baby. Long day, but a great day. Come on. No more mulligans. If I can two putt this. It means I shot a 69 like my friend Liam, but using 35 mulligans instead of 65, which yeah. means that the ball will be in his court. I like that a lot, mate. <laughs> wow, yeah, knee shaker for a par. For a 69, how good? Oh. <laughs> 
Seven, you just broke par, pal. Come on. I just broke par at Parapara Umu Beach Golf Club. An incredible effort. Windy day. Some really, really good golf. Thank you, mate. I want to thank my caddy. Couldn't have done it without him. Me and Liam are definitely doing this again because I think we both think we can do better. Next time, no win. I hope you guys have enjoyed this one because it was fun. If you guys. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.